VC. Hello everyone. Yes, it is time for a, another record update and I just want to say that it is a pleasure to be doing another one again. Um, we're in the 30s aren't we? Um, 33 I believe. We're on. Yeah, so this stuff goes back to um, just before quarantine. So this is the stuff that I've collected um, also online throughout the time we're in now and I've gotten some very interesting stuff um, and also two birthday gifts as well and a few from the box which I thought I'd keep and just show so we're going to start with the two records I got just before we um, all had to stay in our homes these two purchases were from Mud Shark Records the first one is of Lou Reed Live now this is um, this is the same concert as a rock and roll animal. Um, it's basically the second half of that concert with um, all the, yeah, Lou, um, most of the other stuff like Lou Reed and Velvet stuff. And it's got ring wear on it and it's got writing um, on near yeah, there that says Chris. But besides that, the vinyl is in BG condition. So, it plays well. And uh, yeah, I know it's got pretty bad ring wear, but I don't care really. Uh, the vinyl is in nice condition, which is a plus. Mm. So yeah, that is Lou Reed live. And I haven't really listened to this yet. I've listened to it once, but we'll probably see it again sometime soon. But yeah, this was nice and clean. Yeah, and I'm happy to have another Lou Reed record. I've still got tons more to get. But yeah. Okay, the next one is an EP and this is um this was again two pounds from Mudshack Records. This is the Happy Mondays and the Hallelujah EP. Finally got some Mondays in the collection. This isn't in the best of condition sadly it's got a bit of crackle on Hallelujah, the um, which mix on the side two, which is the best version, in my opinion, of Hallelujah. Uh, it's the one that is in twenty featured in twenty four hour party people. Yeah, but this is factory number. I love doing this. Factory number two hundred and sixty. Mm -hmm. uh, show the vinyl to you. There you go. Mm. But yeah, it is quite good though to just own. I'll just get a better copy in the future. Because um, I don't have any Mondays. So yeah, always on the lookout for them though. Um, now this one was an eBay purchase. I ordered this um, just before, well, um, just prior to when this all was announced, all the lockdowns was announced. I ordered this, it came a while later from eBay. I, got, I sent it off for this. And this is a really good album. This is Susie and the Banshees. Um, finally got some more Susie. This is their album, Peep Show, released in 1988. Which is a really good album. It features uh, Peekaboo, The Killing Jar, Scarecrow, Carousel, Burn Up, Ornaments of Gold, R Turns of Stone, Raw Head, and Bloody Ones, Bloody Bones. The last that... Be the hauntingly beautiful last beat of my heart and Rhapsody. So yeah, nice to have this album in my record collection. Uh, yeah. I love that. Can anyone see that? Also, it's a really good album. Nice to have more more banshees in my record collection. Hmm. Okay, my next two were given to me for my birthday, um, my mum and dad, and uh, yeah, let's uh, have a look. Okay, the first one, the first one is this one. Uh, it's a classic album for you. Finally got Act and Baby by U2. Stellar record. Um, Station, 
all the tracks, sorry, all the tracks in here are brilliant. Um, from side one to side four. Fantastic record. Own it if you don't. This is not the best. To me, this isn't the best album, but I do really like this album. The one after this, I consider their best, which I still need to get on vinyl. This has got. I'm not going to show much with this, but. You know. And it's the same for. You know, it's different for that one. Custom label. Oh, 108 gram black vinyl. This is the reissue from a couple of years ago. Lyric, sleeves, and all of that. There's a ton of stuff in this. Hotspot by Pet Shop Boys. Um, this is their new album, and I thought, you know, I'd ask my family to get it for me for my birthday. Um, really good album. Uh, nice tracks on here. Um, I was. I wasn't keen on the album when I first had the fun of Hearst Dreamland, but I do love Monkey Business and I don't want no. Um Wedding in Berlin, um, Will of the Wisp, um, Burning the Heaver, really good songs. Yeah, standard modern PSB album. When I say modern, it's very synth sounding, but sadly what I miss about early Pet Shop Boys is the very um like full sound of the album, the spectrum of full Spectacle full sound on their records, which is what I miss from the Parlophone years, but oh well. I was supposed to go see them as um, this year. I had a whole month of videos planned on them, but oh well, I'm seeing them next May anyway. Oh, I was going to do a month of videos on Pet Shop Boys discussing my, my love for them. So yeah, look forward to that next May. <laughs> Next one is these two are from the box, and they are okay. This one's really interesting. This is Disasters um, by BBC Records and Tape. Sound effects number sixteen. I thought, why not keep this because this is just this is the stuff that Johnny Seed showed one of these ones, I believe, in his video, and he was still chucking them out. And this is just awesome. And it's got, you know, sound effects from Doctor Who, you know, um, and stuff like that, you know, BBC radio stuff probably. But yeah, it's just awesome to own. It's cool. I love stuff like this. And it's on the great BBC label, which is always a pleasure. So yeah, if you see this from Charity Shop, pick it up. It's good fun to listen to. I had a good time listening to it. Um, so yeah, pick it up. Mm -hmm. The next one from the box, and this is the last time from the box. This is Taste and their album F In The Boards. Um, from my, This was from the box from next door neighbor, along with that sound effects one. This was a band that the Irish guitarist Rory Gallagher was in. I thought I'd give it a try. I haven't heard any of his music, um, so I thought I'd just keep it. And this is on the um, standard red Polydor label, I believe, yeah. So there you go. Okay, uh, my next two are possibly the ones I've been waiting to show, and if you can see from my t shirt, yes, serious moonlight t shirt, I've got that online. He's, he's back again, and these two were online purchases for, of David Bowie. And this was the first one. This was a must-have because it was at a good price, and I got and the offer was accepted. From Discogs of Tin Machine Two. This is an original Spanish pressing. I actually first listen. I liked it. First listen, I did enjoy. I actually really like this album. There's some really good songs on this. Um, there's some ones that aren't really good, but the standout for me is definitely I would say Shopping for Girls. And I do love Baby Universal. One Shot You Belong Rock and Roll. I like a lot of the songs on here, but there are some songs that are better than others, definitely. It's not his best album, it's not his worst album, but it is decent and, you know, better than what people say it for. And yes, I have ordered, like an idiot, I have ordered the um, Silver Vinyl reissue, because why not? Yeah. But yeah, Tim Machine 2 came with a lyrics lead, which was great. 
but this is a re this has some good songs in it, I will say. It's not the first album, the first album is spectacular, but it is good. London label. It's not the spectacle which was the first album, but yeah. How can you top that first album anyway? The last one was one that I bought an offer for, but I, I didn't put off this, but I absolutely bought it. It was going on eBay for the cheapest I'd seen it for, and I've always wanted this LP. I should have picked up the other one I had there. Well, one is from this box set, but this was originally released with the um, Loving the Alien box set. I've always wanted this. Um, ever since I heard, this was one of the things that got me interested in Bowie, actually, was this. When they were promoting this. So I have to thank this box set for it. Either thought of his best era. But this is a great remix of Never Let Me Down, the 2018 remix. I'm so happy to finally own this. It's been forever since I wanted this. And it sounds great on... It sounds great. It sounds great. Um, yeah. Um, it's way better than the... Um, than the original, absolutely. Now, okay, what will I say about this? I like all the songs on here, except for Day In Day Out, which I don't like, um, Never Let Me Down, I don't like, and Shining Star, Making My Love. Everything else on here is really well done, except for those three songs, because they still sound 80s. Standouts on here, um, Time Will Crawl, phenomenal. Oh my God, Zeros. I've always loved that version of Zeros. Um, New York's in Love, 87 and Cry. Awesome stuff. Show you the record, everything. Um, sleeves, lyric sleeves. 180 gram vinyl. There's the new label they've put for it. Yep. And I'll show you, I'll show you one of the records, but this is lovely. It's got a nice, can you see that yet? David Bowie etching on there, which is really cool. But yeah, this is a, a well done remaster. They should do this more with a few more albums, I think. But uh, yeah, they should. Um, and I've got one more thing to show you. I ordered this a while back, um, just when we went to lockdown, because I thought, why not order it now? I'm so glad I did. It is the BFI um, first ever release on DVD and Blu-ray of the Pet Shop Boys film project released in 1980... Um, 80... what? 88? Um, it couldn't happen here. Now this was kind of a... It's an odd, very British film uh, made by a very British director, Jack Bond. And it's just a... It's something, but I had to have it. I've always known about this film. I watched it a long time ago on YouTube when I was a when I was just a fan, becoming a fan. I was into my diehard fan phase, which leached back in the recent years. But this is beautiful to have. This was a lot of money. This was a bit of money, um, but it's beautiful. It's got Blu-ray, lovely pictures in here. Lovely essay about um, the film. A great interview which I've got to read with Neil. Production day stuff, production notes. Um, yeah, nice nice stuff. Nicely packaged. It's got Barbara Windsor in as well. And uh, choreography by Arlene Phillips. Um, and yeah, nice pictures there. Very nice quality, but my television is pretty crappy, but so, um, yeah. But these are the DVD as well. Which is nice. Um, sounds really good, um, but I do need to get an enhancement on that as well. So yeah, nice little thing. If you've got some money to spare, if you're bored, get it. If you like Pet Shop Boys, anyway. So VC, that is my little update for you. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye-bye for now.